All right, Warriors, welcome back. Before we get started, though, let's do a breathing exercise. So it's going to take five seconds, five Mississippis. And we're going to breathe in deep, hold it, release together. And just to reclaim some mind space. See, what we got to do is, as we're learning something new, we're picking and choosing what it is we're going to categorize from hurt to lesson. You're, you're, you're not going to be trying to forget it. See, that's where you get shit twisted and you think, oh, one day this is... Because you forgot some of your past connections. Can't even fucking remember what they look like till one day maybe they appear and you're going, what the fuck was I thinking? Yeah, this one's going to get you by the boo-boo because it costs you the most. This, And uh, who knows, it's... Why we call it witchery? I mean, that, they could be a witch. Who the fuck knows? I bet the cards will tell us today. <laughs> Wouldn't it be freaky? <laughs> Look, stay till the end. I'm going to go over some cards that I found. It's a card game. It's a board game. And it's called Drunk, Stone, or Stupid. And I added Narcissus or possible Redneck. Or it could be us, right? could be you. But some things make you go, hmm. Let's take five seconds. Take a badass walk on the beach. And we're going to talk about new levels, new devils. It works both ways now. New levels, new devils. Ooh, we're going to tango today. Oh, we're going to talk. We're going to spill some tea. Look, don't forget to join. And it's it's free to subscriptions. I say that deliberately because it tastes more delicious when I do it that way. And who knows, maybe it'll make you remember more better bestest what it is you're learning so that you can unlearn to relearn. Five seconds, warriors. Let's do this. Let's take a deep breath. Come on. Really slowly. Shake that shit up. It was never yours. It was never yours. Warriors, this is going to be my last video. I know it's a new year. So I want you to pay attention to me to the very end. We're going to talk a little bit about gratitude. Appreciating each other's company. We've shared a lot of ups and downs. We've been able to walk through a healing process. But even right now, at this very moment, I've lost you completely. And all you can think about is this being the last video. April Fools! <laughs> what? It's not April. Yeah, but it, it feels more impact, more better, best as impact. Because if, if you do it in April, you become numb to the shock and awe. Those butterfly feelings of feeling like, no, but Chico, it's never goodbye. It's, it's always until next time. I want you to understand that same feeling that you're feeling. Those butterfly feelings of coming into this awareness. Oh, it's a beautiful feeling. It's those same feelings, though, that should give you some alarm. Because at new levels, now you're dealing with new devils. You already know the one that handed you your ass. You know the whole coven. You know your whole family. It's not those that I'm warning you about. In fact, I'm not even worried about them. In fact, that, I wish a bitch would, right? No, it's when you reach new levels of understanding, awareness, and success. Now what you have is, you ever heard the term, the devil goes to church, the devil wears Prada? Yeah. Well, there's a reason for that. Because it's going to be the same game, the same fucking playbook, a different level, a different league, a different class, but nonetheless the same play. Better to learn the skills of psychological warfare 
the art of war, when you have little to lose and it felt like all, then to now receive this awareness and the blessings that come with it and not be responsible for it in a very deliberate, awakened manner. And this is why, to many, many degrees, in your stubborn asses, and made for a softer ass. The Lord teaches perfectly, each in our own time. Those same butterfly feelings you reach at these levels, though, it's why humility must be exercised, remaining grounded and never forgetting who put you there, who guided you, who tempted you, who shook the jar, if you will. Look, I'm going to tell you this. No one becomes more dead set in setting up boundaries and defending them. In fact, I, I dare say you can't wait for someone to test, test them, testes them. I wish somebody would testes my boundaries. <laughs> Warriors, when I say shake in the jar, this is what I mean. You have to worry about a social level, uh, a different class of predator, a different temptation. It comes many to those of in places of privilege and power. It's the same sadistic playbook that plays against the narcissist, though. You see, when the narcissist monkey jumps and uses others to elevate in social class in order to have access to more better bestest resources, finances, clout, authority to power over anyone that dumbed them wrong in their past, lord it over them, right? You see, because that competitive spirit won't allow them humility. But at the same token, their thirst they can't hide. Those lying eyes can be seen by narcissists, sociopaths, psychopaths that are of that social class. And narcissists get the same butterfly feelings in reaching and attaining those certain levels, but their thirst can't be hidden. And they get taken advantage of. It's why you see so many being dethroned so fast. It's hilarious to watch. You see, they lose sight of who's actually pulling the puppet strings at a level they should have never been playing in. You see, that's someone else's playground. And that's why narcissists will never recover. You're starting to see them fall by the masses. It's kind of like the red ant and black ant in a jar. You get red ants and black ants, put them in a jar together. Leave them alone and they get along to get along. Shake that jar up and they turn into bitter enemies because the red ant believes the black ants are the enemy. The black ants believe the red ants are the enemy. Neither of the two realize who's a real enemy. The one that shook the jar. Psychopaths, sociopaths, or jar shakers. Narcissists and borderlines are the enablers. Every now and again, though, they get rewarded with some crumbs. Got to keep them entertained, believe in damn power. It's part of the manipulations. Warriors, what you're now paying attention to when I say you're awakened, you're watching the key players, the jar shakers, playing their game. Every now and again, you spot them and they'll grin at you and wink. Like, yeah, I know. You, you see what I'm doing. When a narcissist monkey jumps, what I want you to understand is 
when they hoover you, that desperate look, they need you to see them in despair. What they're banking on is you have some understanding in you and some sympathy left for them that you're going to give them compassion. And, uh, yeah, what I'm here to do is remind you what you're going to do with that compassion. Yeah, you're going to wipe your ass with it. Because warriors, I want to remind you who was there for you when you needed them. Who put you in a position where you needed anybody to begin with? And who watched it all happen? And I'm going to remind you again. You're alive, ain't you? Now it's your turn. And I want you to give gratitude. Understand, you... Many of you need to uh, take a time out. Go and walk about. Have a world view, not a world perspective, an opinion. And you'll learn to give gratitude. You see, many of you got electricity. You got gas, access to food, and water. You want something to ponder? Think about this. Place of privilege. To have an attitude about how little you got, and yet, you sit your ass on a porcelain throne and take a shit in clean water. And flush it like nobody's business. Now, that being said, Time to be grateful for what little we got. Because there's always someone out there who's got it more worstrous than us. What you going to do with this awareness? Hey, that's between you and the one that woke your ass up, not me. <laughs> but check this out. I am going to remind you of some red flags to pay attention to and watch out for. Because new levels, new devils. The game don't change. It's just because you see dead people. Let's take a read on some cards. Oh, I'm getting good at this shit, y'all. I'm getting more good at this. Casinos is going to call me up. All right, y'all. You ain't going to believe this shit. Check this out. May be a witch. If I'm lying, I'm dying. <laughs> Makes Facebook status someone's name while searching for them. Mm-hmm. Copycat, chameleon, shapeshifter, cries over the stupidest shit. <laughs> Is always right. Can't spell good. <laughs> Can't spell good is a hashtag entrepreneur and is hashtag better than you. Better hashtag know it. Better hashtag wish a bitch would. 
<laughs> would choose pizza over sex. Now look, there's this place called the Brick Oven. And, uh... Yeah, you, you, you just have to be good at putting it on because, uh... The brick oven is the shit. Always wants to do stuff. <laughs> you wanna go? You wanna go? Huh? 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 You wanna go? You wanna go? Squirrel? Squirrel? <laughs> With GoPro losing their virginity. Damn it. That's just so truthful. <laughs> just needs five more minutes. Five, five more minutes. Five, I said five, five more minutes. Where's flip-flops to a wedding? Damn, I, I, damn, guilty. Spends hours deciding where to get food. Well, shit. Has a mysterious past. Ruby, Ruby, do where are you? Rot row. Takes your food way too seriously. Way, way too seriously. Psst. Is a vegan. <laughs> no, no shit. No, level seven vegan. Level seven. Uh huh. Gets turned on by political debates. <laughs> Did you say vote for Chewbacca? Uh, uh. <laughs> All right, warriors, get out there and fucking own it. And look, every now and again, you're going to trip up. You're going to forget to maybe respond and you're going to react. Don't be down on yourself. These retards, these narcissists, these reprobate minds are going to give you another opportunity because you failed on that shot. You'll notice they keep coming and coming and coming until you are deliberate and blunt with the truth. Try it. I dare you. I double dare you. Arr, get out there. It's never goodbye, Warriors. It's always until next time. It was an April Fool's. Get over it. It was April Fool's. It was April Fool's. It's hide. It's hide. It's a couple moons from now. It's not like that's that far. All right, all right. Move on. Shh. Mira. We got it right here. We got it like that. I see what you're doing. Stop what the fuck you're doing. Get off that couch and own it. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Care Bears. Dear! Reaching gun? <laughs> Namaste. Jesse, what are you doing today? We're going to skydive today. We're going to skydive. Leap of faith. <laughs> hey, that's what this is. Doing it for the tribe, the that's... warrior tribe. Do you know how high we're going? Did 14, they tell you? 14,500 feet. Close. 14,500 feet, yep. And then we're going to be right. falling at? A high rate of speed. <laughs> very fast. We're going to be falling very fast. <laughs> we're going to be falling at 100, high. 120 miles an hour. Sweet. Have you ever gone that fast before? No, I have not. Okay, are you ready to go that fast? I'm ready. Okay. We're going to do it today. <laughs> you got my back. Yep. Oh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get your face, but you know, your TI will have your All back. Right. All what right. made you want to skydive? What what brought you here today? Facing fear. Yeah? Are you afraid of Facing heights? Facing fear, head on. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> I'm afraid of not trying new hey, opportunities. There you go. I'm afraid of living in the woulda, shoulda, coulda. And I'm not going to do it. Lead and live by example. There you go. You heard it here first from Jesse. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Woo! Close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left
storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left sword fight uh, so I guess we'll have to call it a draw there you go we'll have to do it again <laughs> all right when are you gonna get your license now I'm gonna work on it tomorrow <laughs> I'll well, be back Jesse, all right. thank you for jumping with us this guy oh, Lone Star. Man, do you have anything you'd like to mine. say what an honor badass crew I love it here the hospitality just phenomenal Five stars. If there were ten, I'd give it to you. We'll take ten. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> My brother. Oh, what a fun! Hey, awesome. man. Glad y'all came out. What an experience. Come and see us again. Thank you.